Hey guys, Mr. Backberg here. This is the first part of lesson 3.5. In this video, we are going to find equations of lines. Now, there are a couple different ways that we can write out linear equations, but the one that we're going to use the most is called slope-intercept form. And you may remember slope-intercept form. It looks like y equals mx plus b. The reason this is called slope-intercept form is because it's really easy for us to identify the slope of this equation and the y-intercept of this equation. All we have to do is look at those m and b values. m stands for our slope, and the b value on the end is our y-intercept. In these examples, we're going to take a look at two equations of lines, and we're going to identify their slopes, and we're going to identify their y-intercepts. If we look at example A, it's already written in y equals mx plus b form. So if we want to identify the slope, all we have to do is find the m value. And if we want to identify the y-intercept, we just have to find the b value. So on this one, the m value, or the slope, is the number in front of the x. So we're looking at the 3 as our slope. So we would say the slope, or m, is 3. For the y-intercept, we're looking at the b value on the end. And we would say that the b value, or the y-intercept, is happening at negative 4. Now in our second example, this equation is not written in y equals mx plus b form. So we can't just pull out the m and b values. We need to do a little bit of rearranging first. The first thing I would do is I would take this negative 4x and I would add it over to the right-hand side. So then we end up with the equation 3y equals 4x plus 6. Then to get y all by itself, we have to divide everything by the 3. So we end up with the equation y equals 4 thirds x plus 2. Now that we have y equals mx plus b, we can identify our slope and our y-intercept. Again, the slope is the number in front of x. And the y-intercept is the b value on the end. So we would say the slope of this line is 4 thirds, and the y-intercept is at 2. The next thing we're going to look at doing is writing out the equation of a line based on a couple of points. So in this example, we're given the point negative 2, 5, and 1, 2. We're going to write out a slope-intercept equation. Remember, slope-intercept looks like y equals mx plus b. In order to write out a slope-intercept equation, we need to figure out what our slope is going to be, and we need to figure out what our y-intercept is going to be. Looking at these two points, we can find the slope using that slope formula. Remember, the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to label my ordered pairs, and then start substituting that information into the formula. On the bottom, we've got a double negative, so I'm going to turn that into addition. On top, if we take 2 minus 5, we get negative 3. And on bottom, 1 plus 2 is 3. Negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. So the slope is negative 1. Now that we've got our slope, the last thing we need to find is our y-intercept. So we need to find that b value. We're going to use the slope and one of our points to help us out. It won't matter which point we pick. We should get the same answer either way. I'm going to look at using this 1, 2 point. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our y equals mx plus b form of the equation. We're going to plug in our x and y value, and we're going to plug in that slope that we just found. So when we do that, the y value from this point is 2 equals our m, which we just found was negative 1. Our x value from this ordered pair is 1. We don't know what our b value is. That's what we're trying to find. So I'm just going to leave it as plus b on the end. Now, if we take negative 1 times 1, we get negative 1. And now in order to get b all by itself, we just have to take that negative 1 and add it over to the left-hand side. So we end up with a b value of 3. Now that we have everything we need, we can write out the equation. We're going to take this y equals mx plus b form. We're going to plug in our m value, and we're going to plug in our b value. When we do that, we get the equation y equals negative 1x plus 3. So that's going to be the slope-intercept form of the equation that passed through those two points that we were given at the very beginning. 
In this example, we're going to be writing out the equation of the line going through the point negative 1, 1, and that's parallel to the line y equals 2x plus 3. Again, we're going to write out a y equals mx plus b equation, so we're going to have to find the slope and we're going to have to find the y-intercept before we can write it out. Since we want our line to be parallel to this y equals 2x plus 3 line, remember, parallel lines have exactly the same slope. So we can look at this line to help us out a little bit. This line has a slope of 2. So when we're writing out the equation of our new line, we also want it to have a slope of 2. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use that y equals mx plus b form of an equation with our slope of 2 and our point of negative 1, 1 to try to figure out what our b value is. Remember, this point gives us an x value and a y value. So we can take that information and substitute it into our y equals mx plus b equation. The y value is 1. Our slope is going to be 2. The x value from the point was negative 1. And we're trying to find b, so we're going to leave it as plus b on the end. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. In order to solve this for b, we're going to take this negative 2 and add it over to the left-hand side. So we end up with a b value of 3. Now we've got everything we need to write the equation. Our slope is 2 and our intercept is 3. So writing out the equation, it would be y equals 2x plus 3. In our last example, we're going to write out the equation of the line passing through the point 2, 3. But this time we want it to be perpendicular to this y equals negative 2x plus 3 equation. Again, we're going to want to write out a y equals mx plus b equation, so we're going to need the slope and we're going to need the y-intercept. This time we want to be perpendicular, so the slopes have to be opposite reciprocals. If we look at our slope right now for our original equation, it's negative 2. We can turn this into a fraction by putting it over 1. And then remember, perpendicular, I said they were opposite reciprocals. That means we need to flip the fraction over and change the sign. So if we flip the fraction over and change the sign, it ends up being a slope of 1 half. Now we're going to use this point that we were given and our y equals mx plus b form of an equation to help us figure out what our b value is. Our y value is 3. Our slope is 1 half. Our x value is 2. And we don't know what our b value is. That's what we're trying to find, so we're just going to leave it as plus b. Now if we take a half times 2, that's just 1. And in order to get b all by itself, we're going to subtract the 1 from each side. So we end up with a b value of 2. Now we have all the information we need. Slope is a half, the b value is 2. So we go y equals 1 half x plus 2 as the equation of our line being perpendicular to y equals negative 2x plus 3. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.